Hi, everybody. I am Kelly Schaub. Welcome to our virtual book launch party for Think Global, Glue Local. And I'm so happy to have you here. Um, I'll just say a few words about the book. And then I think since it's a small group, we'll go around and introduce ourselves. Several of the artists from the book are here today for the Zoom. So that's exciting. And I want to, um, I, I want to meet you all. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And let me turn off my reminder that we have a Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> all, all of the technology. Um, anyhow, I am super excited about this book. Uh, this book is uh, my 2021 contribution um, to World Collage Day this year. And for those of you that don't know much about World Collage Day, I'll, I'll just start with some background. In 2018, Collage Magazine uh, started World Collage Day. It, World Collage Day has grown over these few years that it's been in existence. There are literally hundreds of events uh, happening all over the world. Several of them are already in process, exhibits and calls and Zooms and all sorts of things. Uh, World Collage Day is actually this Saturday, May 8th. And so there are millions of, not millions, but <laughs> hundreds of events that uh, individuals, collage collectives, uh, organizations, uh, anybody is, is welcome to create something for World Collage Day. And Two years ago, uh, World Collage Day 2019, I hosted a, a local event in my community. I'm in a small town in South Texas in the Coastal Bend region. Um, the town's called Rockport, Texas. And so for 2019, uh, to try to introduce my community to collage a little bit, I hosted a community cut and paste event. And we took a big four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood, stuck it on the wall in a gallery downtown and invited people to come. And I brought a bunch of magazines and images, put out a bunch of scissors and um, um, glue and people would cut things and paste them on this community collage. And it was so much fun. People came in groups with their friends. There was one group of three or four ladies that I didn't know. They just stumbled into the, the gallery that afternoon. And they were there for about two hours. They were having so much fun. And somebody would put something on the collage. And an hour later, somebody would like basically respond to that image, you know, here's a girl, I'm going to put a hat on her, or she looks like she needs to be on a bicycle. And it was so much fun. And we did that over the course of two weekends uh, with the community coming into this gallery and adding to the collage. So that was 2019. So last year for World Collage Day, I had big, big plans. I was going to have collage events going on in as many of the little local galleries and shops on our main street. I was going to have demos. I was going to have try to get um, the galleries to have collage exhibits. I was going to have, uh, you know, cut and paste kits that people could take home, all sorts of things I had planned. And I was putting it into motion um, in February or in March of last year right before coronavirus started locking things down. And so by the time we got to May of last year, there was no way that anything that I'd planned was going to happen. And so that was kind of a bust. 
this year, you know, things are starting to reopen in certain places and, you know, it's, it's still a little iffy in some places, but um, since the lockdown started, I, I put all of my energy into the Collage Lab website and last year had actually done a couple of calls to artists and published a few books. And so I decided that this year that would be how Collage Lab celebrated World Collage Day. And so put out a call for artists for round collages and I got a lot of amazing round collages from artists all over the world. And I picked, it was really hard, but I picked 40 of them to put in the book. And um, about 100 of them will be also in an online exhibit. If you're in the book, you'll be in the online exhibit. And then there are, are some others that were really good, but I didn't have room in the book for everybody. So you'll get to see the, the uh, actual collages in the online exhibit, which will be up by World Collage Day, by Saturday. I'm not exactly sure when, but I'll post links on the website when I get that done. I uh, Some of you might know if you're in the Facebook group, I, I broke the internet last Thursday. And so I, I was without Wi-Fi all weekend. Um, we're out in the country and we have very few internet options now. And so I've got this little local company and some weird device that points at a tower. And Thursday night we were watching Netflix and eating dinner and, and we, we took a break, paused the Netflix, came outside, to see what things were like outside, went back in and there was no internet. And, you know, restarted the computer and still no internet. And so I, I came out to the studio and I hit the reset button on the modem, which I guess with this company is a big, huge no-no because it totally forgot who we were. And so they had to send a tech out to reset the modem and they couldn't get a tech out until Monday. And so I'm doing so many things online now that when I broke the internet, I was like, well, Thank goodness uh, the, the Thursday Zoom class had already happened, but I was in the middle of trying to upload the replay for them to watch. And I had all these other things that I wanted to do. And I had to wait until Monday for them to fix the internet. The good news is they, they came out and said, well, it's a good thing you broke the internet because we have a new upgraded router to give you. And they've also upgraded the tower. And now I have like speeds twice as fast, which I don't think they would have just like let me know that if I hadn't broken it. So anyhow, um, the internet's back. I will get the online exhibit up as quickly as possible. Um, but today we're here to celebrate the book and to also reveal the cover artist out of the 40 artists that uh, I chose to feature in this book. One of them also gets their globe image on the cover of the paperback book. And we'll be revealing that at the end of today's Zoom. Very exciting. And the cover artist gets a free copy of the book. Uh, all of the other 40 artists in the book will get a really fun Think Global Glue Local sticker which is amazing. And I will get those in the mail later this week. And so I want to quit talking for a minute and go around the room and introduce ourselves because I, I love getting together with uh, new people on Zoom, people that I see your names on social media or, or you've taken some of the uh, classes through Collage Lab that aren't online or uh, aren't live, 
um, like collage alphabet and she is for grids are pre recorded so I don't get to see you. Um, so I really like seeing faces in the zoom and putting names and faces together. Uh, I think I fo follow all of you on social media and you're always an inspiration when I go to do my own art. Um, so I am going to just go around the zoom screen in the order that you guys are appearing on my screen. And if you'll just introduce yourself quickly, who you are, where you are today, um, location, uh, how you found Collage Lab, because there are a lot of new names and faces here. And then also let us know if you are in the book. Um, and I'm going to start with Indira. I've got Indira up in the top left corner. How are you today? I'm doing fine. How are you? It's Go nice ahead. to see all of you. I am from New Jersey, USA. And um, I found uh, this is the first time I'm participating in a um, Bull Collage Day. But I have been following, following you, Kelly, for a while. I have seen many of your videos. And I like your artwork. So when you put that out, you know, the, the round collage, you know, for this book, I was very excited. And um, given that we all are in pandemic and doing, you know, constantly thinking about it, that what I did was very pandemic related. And I feel very proud that you chose my artwork in the book for the book. Thank you. Well, congratulations. I'm, I'm happy to have you in the book and we'll be showing your artwork. Uh, as soon as we get through introductions, we'll go ahead and, and show everybody the book. Um, next up, I've got Sharon. How are you today, Sharon? Unmute yourself. Can you press the, there we go. Hi, um, I'm Sharon. Uh, I live in Wales, um, so in the UK. Uh, I can't remember how I came across Collage Lab, but it probably is through Jennifer Wallace, who's also on here today. Um, I'm in the book, so I'm very pleased. Thank you. Um, I've been doing collage for a number of years, um, but I've mainly been concentrating on cut and paste collage for the last year. But I've been doing a lot of digital work, so, so I'm pleased to see you all. Well, I'm happy to have you here, Sharon, and congratulations on being in the book. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Glad you're here. Um, next up is Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Julie Welsh. Uh, I'm a Canadian expat. I've lived in the States now for almost 30 years uh, in, in Michigan. Um, I came across you, uh, Kelly, through um, Mandy, Mandy Farrell. Yeah. Um, and I think that was where I first saw stuff around Collage Lab. So it's only been, and it's not been quite a year um, that uh, I've been following and taking some of your classes. Uh, I am in the book and you could have knocked me over because <laughs> um, collage is something I've done, but it's not my primary. I do lots of mixed media and um, specialty things um for art so anyways i'm really excited about the book and uh thanks very much i'm excited to have you here julie and and i get to see julie every week right now she's in one of the live classes so yep. i'm happy to have you here and in the book um next up i have uh carmen maria lopez we've got a couple of carmen's here but hi carmen maria Um, hello. Um, my my grandma is not very good with with English, but I can introduce herself because okay. uh, Spanish and you know it, it's not it's difficult to learn English. <laughs> okay, so what can I say about my grandma? Uh, my grandma lives in Spain. You know that I I, I told and. I think it's her first uh, thing in the, in the book of this uh, collapse day. And well, uh, she's pretty new in this world of collapse. I think it's like uh, two months or three 
like in you know like story <laughs> of, of Golats and well she she has like a a view a magic view of of how to do a collage so when she she saw like um something that it's special she she plus in in the in the collage so she's like it's a special it's a specialty in collage so that's all i have to say out of my my grandmother <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad you're here. Um, I, I love this, this international community. And, and that's one thing that, you know, the pandemic has really done for me as I teach classes. Um, teaching online has really just expanded the number of people that, that I get to see in the classroom and doing events like this. Um, so I'm thrilled to have you here and congratulations on being in the book. Um, that was Carmen Cervera, you guys. Uh, there's another Carmen here. Um, Carmen Maria, if you could unmute yourself and, and tell us what, who, where you're at. And she just keeps smiling at me. <laughs> okay, um, we'll move on. Karen, how are you today? Karen Menahan. Oh, good. I'm in, um, I'm Karen. I'm in Northern California in Santa Cruz. And I don't know how I found you, Kelly, but I'm glad I did. <laughs> me too. And I'm um, very happy to, to be in the book. Thank you. I'm, I'm thrilled to have you here as well. Uh, next up, I've got Eve. How are you today? Hi, Kelly. Hi. Um, my name's Eve Bridges. Uh, I'm based in the UK in the Peak District. Um, there's a really big storm outside at the moment, so I'm really sorry if everything just cuts out. <laughs> um, and I'm so pleased to be in the book. Thank you so much. And I found you via Instagram. Actually, one of my friends recommended you, and that's where I found you from. So only only a short while ago, so not long. Wonderful. Well, welcome. Welcome to the Collage Lab family, and congratulations on being in the book. Uh, Sarah Sylvia. So hello, my name is Sarah Silvia, and um, I live in Rome, Italy. I'm actually Italian, but I've spent many years in the United States. Um, I've been doing collage for about 20, 25 years. Um, and I'm also an art counselor, so I've also used collage a lot uh, in counseling. I'm in the book, which I'm very pleased to be. And uh, I, th I, I, I'm sure I found out about you on Instagram. Um, Instagram, which I started participating in a year ago because of the pandemic. I'm a very non-social media person. I don't have Facebook or anything. But um, actually, I'm very happy I did because I've learned in this year. I always say it's like taking a hundred crash courses in <laughs> all sorts of aspects <laughs> that have to do with collage. So thank you for the initiative. It's really great event. Wonderful. Uh, thank you. Speaking, it's because I am actually translating everything that happens to Anna Maria Farinelli, who is my friend and fellow collagist. We are actually also both part of a collective. It's called Roma Collage Collective which has a page on Instagram in case you're curious. Absolutely, wonderful. I, I'm thrilled to have you here and thank you for translating <laughs> because I, I don't do that. <laughs> well, it would be a bit difficult <laughs> to speak and translate at the same time. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. And next I've got Amanda, how are you today? Hello, I'm doing well, thanks. I'm Amanda Petrozzini and I live in Portland, Maine in the United States. And I found out about Collage Lab during the lockdown um, because with my business closed, I needed something 
to keep me calm and um, creativity really just has been the thing that's carried me through this hard time period. Um, and I'm honored to be in the book. That was a happy surprise. And uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to have you here, Amanda. Good to see you again. You too. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anna Maria, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I am Anna Maria. Uh, I am very happy to be here. Uh, I live in Rome, in Italy. Um, I found you on Instagram uh, and uh, I am in the book. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> Thank I love you. knowledge very much, very, very much. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I am an art counselor. Um, and uh, also use college in my work. Thank Wonder you. Well, wonderful. Thank you. Thanks so much for, for being here. Uh, next, I've got Amy. How are you today? Hi, everyone. Um, it's nice to be here. I found you, Kelly, through Instagram. Um, I recently picked up collage after a few years. It was sort of dormant in me for a while, um, but I'm so happy I did. I um, participated in the Februlage um, this February and sort of kick-started my collaging again. And it's been such a great um, way to, you know, meet so many people through this community. So I'm happy to be here. And I am in the book and I appreciate you doing this project. Um, and I live in the US, I'm in Norwalk, Connecticut. So thank you. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. Um, yeah, Febrilage is, is a great thing. Um, anytime you can do some kind of a daily practice and collage makes it so easy because you can, you know, have materials. That's why a lot of people turn to it during the lockdowns because you couldn't get to an art supply store, but there, there were things that you could, you know, cut and paste around the house. So, so happy to have you here, Amy. Uh, next up, I've got Patricia. How are you today? Can you unmute? It's usually a little microphone thing down in the bottom. Hello, Chief. Yes. Hola, hola. <laughs> Soy Patricia. Gracias, Kelly, por incluirme en tu libro. Me interesó mucho de todas las actividades que se hacían para celebrar el día del collage, la tuya. Y estoy feliz de que me hayas incluido y soy de Chile y hago collage hace mucho tiempo, pero lo dejé, soy artista, pinto, hago clases, hago cerámica también, pero todo el año pasado de pandemia estuve dedicada al collage. Eso. So, so happy you're here, Patricia. And Patricia is in Chile and she is in the book. Um, next is Jennifer. Hi, how are you? Um, I, yeah, I've, um, this is, a, I think the second uh, live thing I, I, I've attended. Um, I'm in England. Um, I found you in Facebook because I, I've been in other Facebook art groups because it seems to work quite well for like, you know, specialist niche interests and I went through a phase I think at the beginning of our first lockdown of joining every collage group I could find <laughs> and you're the only one I didn't leave <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> and you know sort of still enjoying it because of how you run it and um, the things you keep coming up with it, it works so I really appreciate it, including this particular project. I'm delighted to uh, have been chosen to be included in the 40. Thank you. Well, thank you, Jennifer. And 
If you are not in the Collage Lab Facebook group, uh, Jennifer uh, made, made a point that I've heard over and over again by design that I run the group differently than a lot of other art groups. Um, and, and so it's not just a bunch of people posting their art in 20 different groups and then not engaging. Um, we, we share what we're working on. We have like works in progress Wednesday and Sunday we can share anything. On Fridays we put our social media links and follow each other. And on Tuesdays we, we offer tips. Uh, and then we, we have just other events and discussions that, that are um, kind of curated. Um, not to say that I'm, you know, censoring content, but if I see somebody's posting in 20 different groups, I generally don't let that in the group. Uh, they can put it in one of the existing discussions. Uh, and so it, it is different and you are all welcome to join. It's a private group. So what you, what you post there isn't all over Facebook, um, but it's a real supportive, uh, helpful group. A lot of uh, side projects and collaborations and things happen between group members and and I'm just I I love I love the people in the Facebook group um next I have Sarah how are you today Sarah hi I'm good I'm here on um, Cape Cod in Massachusetts in the U.S. and where it's rainy and not like it should be on Cape Cod at all um, I am in the book, which I'm super excited about. I'm actually, I share an Instagram with my sister who is a crazy talented collage artist and I'm more a marine debris artist and, you know, just, I like to try things. So I was I'm beyond excited to be in the book. Um, I found you through Trovember. I did that, which was so much fun. Yeah. Again, using things that I had was really great. And I think that's it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm so happy that you are here. Um, you know, people from all, all walks of life and all different uh, artistic creative backgrounds uh, can, can sometimes just, you know, find their way into collage. And I love having uh, opportunities to offer people. And so I'm, I'm so happy you're here. Um, Fuensata, is that how you say? How are you today? Mm, I'm uh, well, no, from Spain and I'm the teacher uh, from the uh, School of Art and I'm with Carmen Cervera. I'm uh, her teacher and I'm only, I'm only mm, watching this <laughs> this uh, <laughs> this uh, este evento está, okay absolutely wonderful i'm i'm so glad you're here it's you know it's a party it's it's to celebrate the artists in the book and carmen severa asked if if her teacher could come from the school of art so i'm so happy you're here thank you um Next, I've thank got, you, thank you. Next, I've got Michael. How are you today? Yeah, hi there. I'm not in the book. I'm just here because you're a nice community of people that I follow a little bit, and um, I'll show you my contribution for today. So, um, you can see it in the lights, but I also doodle faces. So I'm always drawing whoever's on my Zoom screen. So everyone's in an unflattering way appearing in my book. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> It's, um, we took part, my girlfriend and I took part in the Trovember and we keep following and occasionally when we have time following on prompts and things. Great, wonderful. I'm so glad you're here. Um, next, I've got Molly. How are you today? I see you talking, but I'm not hearing you and you're not muted. Oh, 
You can't hear me? I, I can now. Okay. So what I said was, I'm probably the only grandma here who's babysitting. <laughs> and she's making a collage on my wall right now. Excellent. <laughs> she is my collage partner. So uh, thank you very much. I, my collage is in the book. I really appreciate um, the opportunity to be able to be part of this project. And um, I've done a couple of, um, of your uh, challenges in the past. And so I continue to, to follow you on Facebook and I appreciate uh, this is a big undertaking for you. So that's great. Oh, and by the way, I did want to say I am from Connecticut in, in uh, Essex. So that's number two from Connecticut. So we're winning so far. <laughs> oh no, maybe Spain. Maybe Spain. Oh, and no, we're not winning at all. No. <laughs> Rome too, right? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> nice to meet everybody in person. Nice to have you here, Molly. Thanks Thank for you very much, thanks Molly. for being here. Um, Koiwe, is that how you pronounce that? Yes, it is very accurate. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, I'm Koiwe Collage. Um, I'm originally from Chile but I'm based here in Berlin, Germany. I also have both nationalities. So it's accurate when you said that I was from Germany in a way. <laughs> um, I've been doing collage since uh, 2014, but it wasn't until 2018 where I started showing what, I was, what I've been doing. And I am also now the, the co-founder of a Berlin Collage uh, Collective, which is the Berlin Collage uh, platform where we showcase uh, the um, Germany-based collage artists um, and their talent. <laughs> and you're in the book. And I'm in the book, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the book as well, yeah. Um, and thank you so much. I, I was trying to, to, to think what else I, I needed to say, but thank you so much <laughs> for selecting my um, artwork. And yeah, I'm very happy to be part of this initiative uh, now. Great, great. Well, I'm so glad you're here. And, and for anybody that is wondering, there are a lot of collage collectives out there. Um, you know, just do a Google search, you might find something right in your area, in your country, in your neighborhood, um, you know, and, and uh, in post pandemic times, uh, there, there will be, you know, in-person meetups. Uh, Karen, just I, I'm not seeing the full chat, but I was going going to also mention, and now my chat disappeared. Ah, yes, Collage Magazine actually published a book full of um, collage collectives around the world, and whether they're open to anybody or whether they have, you know, membership requirements. And a lot of them, even if you aren't a member, they host calls, they host get togethers and things like that. So, you know, collage artists are, I have discovered some of the most generous, um, collaborative, really fun artists to get to know, really great community. So if, if you're looking for uh, a group of collage artists other than you find at Collage Lab, uh, I urge you to check out some of the collage collectives. Uh, next up, I have Beth. Are you there, Beth? Hi. Hi. Yes, I am. Nice to see everybody. Uh, I live in northern Michigan, and I am not in the book, but I'm here to rah rah all you people that uh got in the book good for you congratulations um and i have taken a number of collage lab classes and um just a great group of people thanks thank you thanks thanks for being here beth is another one in in the current live class so i get to see her face every week as well um did I miss anybody? I that's all I see on my screen, and I think you all fit on one screen. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> the wonders of Zoom. It's like, you know, there could be one person on another screen and screen and nobody sees them. Um, so anyhow, without further, well, actually there will be some further ado. I just want to do a, a quick little um, slideshow about Collage Lab for people that are new to Collage Lab or aren't aware of all of the things that uh, I've been doing and will continue to do and new opportunities and all of that. So I'm gonna do a quick screen share about Collage Lab, uh, which I started a little over a year ago, just have the website, decided to try to put together uh, some resources for collage artists. And then, the, uh, and there's also a newsletter. So I think you're all on the newsletter list. That's the best place to find out about everything new that I'm doing. I do try to keep up on posting to the Facebook group and Instagram. I, that's all I can handle as far as social media. Um, but the newsletter comes out pretty regularly with new opportunities and, and things that are going on. I uh, mentioned the Facebook group and it is a really, really uh, friendly, kind, um, just amazing group of people. I think there's over 600 people in the group now and I'm just always impressed and inspired by their work and, and impressed by how willing they are to share uh, techniques and materials and insight. Uh, it's just a great group. Um, started a little over a year ago by offering a free work at your own pace class called G is for Grids. If you're new to Collage Lab and haven't tried this class out, I urge you to just go ahead and do it. Uh, it's work at your own pace. It's one of those things that no matter how much experience you have or don't have, uh, you'll, you'll see things in a different way. It's a great little starter if you've got some kind of creative block and just want to play around a little bit. Uh, it's a bunch of projects that all start with a simple grid. Uh, after G is for Grids worked and we were in lockdown and I wasn't teaching in person at the time, I decided, oh, why not just launch a year-long class? And so Collage Alphabet was born um, last April. And it, it is a year-long class, 26 uh, separate lessons, work at your own pace. New, re new lesson is released every two weeks. So if you signed up today, you would start today and just follow along every two weeks getting access to a new lesson. And you also have lifetime access because I know we get busy, we get distracted, we, we can't always, you know, say, oh, I need to do my lesson this week, uh, or maybe you want to take a vacation or, or something like that. But Collage Alphabet has lifetime access, work at your own pace. Uh, if you want to skip a lesson and go back to it, you have access to that. Um, last year, I first of all published a book with, with my collages, uh, I put them on little sofas and called it Art Doesn't Have to Match Your Sofa. And I had so much fun with that and was growing this little community at Collage Lab that I decided to do an international call for art. And people submitted collages and I was overwhelmed with how many beautiful collages were sent in. And so I ended up publishing two books. Um, the volume two, Art Doesn't Have to Match Your Sofa, features 26 international collage artists. And volume three features 26 collage artists from around the US. Um, so that's where I kind of got the idea for this book. Uh, last fall, I um, hosted a two week Facebook Live class called Collage Lab 101. That was kind of my, my big eye-opening experience uh, in the transition from teaching live locally to having this international audience. 
and Collage Lab 101, we ended up with 50 students from 16 different countries in that class. And it was so, so much fun that I just decided, you know, yes, I'll teach in person locally uh, when, when things return to normal, but I am really committed to building these online class offerings because there are so many more people uh, that I can reach and that, that I can you know, learn from and be influenced by. So that's kind of where that got started. Uh, a few of you mentioned Treasure Trovember, and that was my crazy little 30-day challenge in November um, where I posted a, a short little video each day in November where we created one collage throughout the month and we added like one element to it each day. Um, and it was a, so much fun. So amazing to see uh, the different directions that people went with the different prompts every day. So that will be back again this November with all new prompts. So mark your calendars. It's a free challenge um, and we post them on Instagram. A lot of fun. Um, did another um, call last December uh, a mail art call where people sent in postcard size um, collages with a vintage holiday theme. And I hosted a pop-up exhibit. I was the only one there, um, <laughs> a pandemic pop-up exhibit in an old phone booth. And I broadcasted on Facebook Live and then also took all of the collages uh, that were sent in and published a little holiday collection uh, book, which was just a fun little gift for the holidays, and then donated all of the, the postcard collages to a local senior center for the holidays. So we'll probably do something like that again this year as well. Um, so then I was like, okay, what am I going to do in 2021? Um, I decided to just fill up my calendar with online classes. And I decided I wanted to do some Zoom classes so I would actually see people in person and we'd get to share. And, and the, the longer classes, we get to, you know, do it like a real class where you meet once a week and you come back the next week with your homework and you share, you know, how, how the assignments went and ask questions and things like that. So there are six master classes that I'm offering live on Zoom this year. Um, right now we're in the middle of uh, color studies in collage master class. The next one, oh, I, I got ahead of myself. Um, the next one is working in series and collage, and that starts, I believe, the beginning of June. I uh, also have some mini classes that are a smaller time commitment. The next one's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's called Letting Go, and it's going to meet for two sessions the week of May 17th. So two weeks from now, it's going to meet live on Zoom for two sessions. And this class is very similar to what we did with Treasure Trovember, where we are just going to follow some prompts wherever they go, um, just try new techniques, try new materials, just have a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of techniques and materials, I also did a a 30 day challenge in March uh, it was just a series of prompts, one for every day called Mixed Media March Minis. Um, some of you participated in that as well and posted on Instagram and that was a lot of fun. Um, Collage Biz is uh, another, another one of those signature courses that, that I'm really proud of. My background before, uh, before Collage is in um, arts administration, nonprofit management. And so I wanted to put together a class that really would help collage artists uh, understand the business side of it, 
for when you're ready to go to that next level. And Collage Biz is a six week pre-recorded class. Uh, you work at your own pace, you have lifetime access. So if there are lessons that you know don't apply to where you are in your career yet, you can always go back and refer to them. Uh, so that's Collage Biz. I uh, just started a couple months doing ago doing a live about once a month called Inside the Lab, and it's kind of a, a backstage look at what's going on with Collage Lab or or with you know me personally in the studio, um, and so those are live and then posted on um, on the YouTube channel, which I'm really slowly building. Uh, really slowly. Um, and back in July of last year, started uh, hosting a monthly uh, free play date where we just get together on Zoom. And whether it's a project or uh, a technique that, that I demo, we um, kind of get together on Zoom and do it together and have fun and chat and share. And so I hope you will join me for some of the upcoming play dates. Also, um, right before lockdown, and, and ignore this date, I pulled the wrong graphic. Right before lockdown and before I launched the online classes, uh, Collage Lab had people sign up for a quarterly scrap exchange where I would match you with a partner and you would send a bunch of collage scraps to them and they would in turn send you a bunch of collage scraps. And then you would use some of the things that you received from your partner to create a collage. And then I would post an online exhibit. Um, didn't go quite as planned as uh, the world started locking down last March and postal services and things like that became uh, less than reliable. So this has not happened quarterly. Uh, it happened twice last year, and I'm actually getting ready to open signups for the next scrap exchange. So if you're on the email list, watch for that to be happening um, sometime this month. It's a lot of fun. Um, and then we also started a scholarship fund last year. Um, I was honored to get um, a gift grant from the Doug and Lori Canyer Art Collection to offer some scholarships for, uh, for Collage Lab 101 last year. And they gave me some money and I matched the money in order to be able to give more scholarships. And so I really want to make the classes accessible. And so what I've done is added this scholarship fund slash tip jar thing to the website. And when people want to donate to the scholarship fund, I will personally match whatever's in the fund. And then I open up uh, a scholarship application for, for upcoming classes and, and allow people uh, you know, a more accessible way to uh, take some of the online classes. So that is what's been happening and what's upcoming at Collage Lab, but that is not what you are here for. So let me show you uh, some of the images from, well, all of the images from inside the book. And then I will reveal the cover artist. So here is from the book. There's actually more, more words in the book, but this is kind of how it's laid out with the round collages that were submitted um, placed inside a little globe. And Julie is here today. And this is Julie's collage what's your Twitter account, which I just love. I love them all. So I, I shouldn't say that because I'll be saying it 40 times, but congratulations, Julie. Uh, next up is Andrietta Heftig. She's from Austria. And this is the gluing brainchild. 
another image that I just fell in love with. Um, Katie, Katie is here today. Oh, no, she's not. Katie was going to be here today, but she's not. She's in one of my classes. Uh, she's up in Ontario. And this is called Lightly Toasted, Please. Lana Turner from Scotland. And this is called Even After All These Years. Karen's here today. Um, this is called World Music. Really fun collage. I love the numbers and the tiger and the guitar. I have so much, so much to love, so much to see. Lena Avila uh, from Spain. This is called Island. Molly is here today. Uh, this is called Infrastructure. Another great collage. Viviana Ravelli from Italy. This is called The Scandalously Shattered Mirror. And some of these are just really fun. Some of them are really powerful. That's what I love about collage. Olaf Nelson uh, from Illinois. Sarah is here today. This is called Breakage. And Sarah was saying that, that the other half of Beans on Toast Creative uh, is, is more into collage and she's more into um, beachcombing and things like that, uh, picking up uh, plastic waste and things like that. And that's, that's what this collage is all about. Amanda is here today. This is called The Key Component. Love the colors. Karen Josephine from Indonesia. Uh, this is called Beyond the Sphere. Mick Proventure from Massachusetts. Uh, this is called Wheeling. Lots of color. <laughs> Anna Maria is here today. Um, the translation of the title is Watching a New Dawn on the World. I won't attempt to, uh, to say the title in Italian. <laughs> Beautiful images. Adriana Rios from Texas, uh, the reflection of my memories. Sara Silvia is here today. This is called internal topography. Great textures, really nice. Anarika Katella uh, from Finland. And the title I probably will not pronounce right, Miela, um, which I believe in the book, in the description, she tells us what that means. <laughs> Annalise from Dagma. Uh, this is called Love Harlem. Uh, she's from the town of Harlem in the Netherlands. Inga Markstrom from Oregon. This is called We're All in This Together. Really neat layers with that cage thing over, over it all. Koiwe is here today. Uh, this is called Surrounded. Beautiful. 
wonderful colors, painted papers. Eduardo Hirschfeld from London. This is called Stop. Pretty cool images. Martin Dosek uh, from the Czech Republic. This is called Our Lady with Child. Look at those eyes. Karen Kuskin, uh, this is called Around the World in 45 RPMs. Uh, Karen's in Florida. And I think we had three or four collages that, that were created on records, record albums. Uh, if you guys remember vinyl, <laughs> most, of, most of us are old enough to remember records. B. Montero uh, is in Spain. Uh, I won't try to pronounce that in Spanish. It means more nature, less smoke. Janet Gold, here's another one on a record. The title is Rabbits on Round Records. Uh, Janet's from Florida. Alice and Ann, uh, they are from Minnesota. This is called Astrological Forecast. Eve is here today. This is called Stuck Together. I think when we look at some of these collages, we just start imagining what the story is. I think collage is so powerful in that way. Astri Asteria from Indonesia. Uh, this is called Soothe. This is multidimensional. The, the thread and stuff hangs off of the circle. I had to crop it all to fit in the globe. Indira's here today. Uh, this is called Shots World versus Corona. Definitely a, a response to the current situation in the world. Uh, Aga's art is, um, is what I'm going to call this because I can't pronounce Aga's name. Uh, it's called Radar and Aga's art is an artist in England. Amy is here today. Uh, this is called Nurture. Just some really nice images, uh, just gives us a, a good feeling. You guys are just so amazing at what you do. Katerina is uh, from England. This is called Bathing in Thought. I love the bathtub. Doug Schulte from Virginia. Uh, this is called Offering. Uh, and this, uh, Doug was, he wrote in his description, was doing some decollage and just peeling off layers. Had no intention or idea that that face was going to come out as fabulous as it did. Uh, and just quit peeling off layers when, when he saw that. Always surprises happening in the studio. Patricia uh, is here today. 
and so many butterflies is the title. What a, what a striking image. And Abigail Hong uh, from the Philippines. This is called Map of the Soul. Juliet Kestel um, definitely gets points for the longest title. She's from the Netherlands. Uh, it's called Sally just discovered a whole new species in her backyard. Sharon is here today. Turwed, is that how you pronounce that, Sharon? You're on your own there. <laughs> okay. I'm, I live in Wales, but I'm not Welsh. Okay. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> Well, I love, I love the images. Carmen is here today. Uh, this is called In My Paper World. Really nice use of images and color. Really nice collage. Jennifer's here. Uh, this is called Where Is This Going? I see a lot of maps and a lot of circles. Really fun design. Brandy Hegarty uh, from Kentucky. This is called Shopping Spree. I think these are all uh, 1940s uh, catalog images. And that is all of the globes, you guys. Aren't they amazing? Congratulations to all 40 artists. And now for the big cover artist reveal. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I wish this was in person, you guys. This would be so much more fun if we were all here in person. Um, so this is a mock-up of the cover of the book. And this is the actual cover. Cover artist is Andrietta Heftig. And you'll remember her uh, collage is called The Gluing Brainchild. Andrietta is from Austria. And I just, I couldn't resist this cute little boy with his, his thing of glue and his scissors. Um, so that is the cover. And I'm going to stop my screen share. And I am going to spotlight I video. Here's the book, you guys. And I'll page through it, but it's a full color paperback. It's 50 pages. And see, it's a real book and there's words and all of that. So you're, you're going to want to get your hands on this. Um, I am really happy with how it turned out. I am going to um, hop over here and post links to the book and to everything else that I talked about uh, in the chat uh, in a minute, as soon as technology works correctly. Oh, come on. While I'm doing that, I will mention that my earrings today are by a collage artist in Canada, British Columbia, named Rosie Shinners. Why are my links not working? Huh. 
Okay, let me try this again. I'm gonna put the link to the book. Okay, um, about the book. The book is published by Amazon. It is print on demand. It is uh, Amazon's print on demand. Book facilities are not available in every single country. So it is also available as Kindle. Uh, but it is available in, in most of the major Amazon. Uh, and, and I checked on the links yesterday. And if, if the link I gave you doesn't, doesn't work because it wants to default to .com, uh, just go into Amazon and type in Think Global, Glue Local. And, and if you don't get any results, then I usually go Think Global, Glue Local, Collage, and, and you should find the book. And this is the picture you're looking for. Um, let me see if I can get my, my other links to work. And if you want to rewatch this video with your friends and family, um, you are welcome to. Um, um, oh, goodness. Okay. Let me try this one more time. Technical difficulties. Yeah, it's not letting me do that. Um, try one more time. Uh, but you all know where collage like here we go. Um, so here's a bunch of links to all the things I talked about. Um, and the links will be posted on the homepage of Collage Lab. I am so honored and excited to have all of you here today. I think the book is just, it looks super. And all of your collages, if you're in the book, will be in an online exhibit on the website sometime this week before World Collage Day. If you order this today, you should have it in time for World Collage Day. Um, I ordered mine on Saturday and got it on Monday, which was just amazing. But I just, I wanna thank you all uh, so, so much for being part of the collage community, being part of Collage Labs community, uh, and for doing collage. I am inspired by you all every day. Thank you so much for taking part in today's Zoom book launch. Thank you for taking part in other things at Collage Lab. And I think I went nine minutes over. So I'm going to let you get on with the rest of the day and just say thank you. Uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me, mycollagelab at gmail.com. Uh, so, so happy to have you all here and do check out the book. It's really, really amazing. The collages are so beautiful. Thank you all, all the artists that participated. Thank That's you, all Gary. I got. Thank That's, you. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. World Collage Day on Saturday. Go do something fun and, and glue something together. Thank you.